uh, Philadelphia obviously has a good team, yeah. starting with um, the matchup of the bigs. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you see this defensive challenge for Carl tonight specifically? Yeah, you said it right there. It is a challenge. Um, and there's, a, there's a lot of bigs in this league um, that can score the ball on the block and uh, score it from the outside too. So that's where Embiid poses such a challenge. He's so dynamic with things. Um, but the, the main thing is, you know, playing without fouling, um, keeping engaged. And then it's a group effort. We've talked about that. But, um, you know, one guy isn't going to stop one player. It's, it's going to be a team effort. The playing without fouling is something Carl did better mm -hmm. in the last game. What does he need to work on and be conscious of so that he doesn't get into early fouls? Yeah, I mean, just staying engaged on the defensive end, which he's done a great job of. And, um, you know, I said last game, but he changed our defensive intensity in, in terms of the fourth quarter um, against New Orleans. So if we can just have him, have him that way for a whole game, we'd, we'd have a, a good shot. Ryan, he's, he's really taken off uh, since the trade. I'm not trying to correlate anything, but what, what has caused him to, to really get back to, to playing the way that everybody kind of knew? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what exactly it would would be the thing you can point to in terms of uh, why he's played so great. But um, you know, Carl, he works hard, and he and he every day he's uh, he's maturing in terms of how his his approach and in terms of how he prepares with everything. And uh, so you know, a lot a lot of credit goes to him in that in that sense. It would be weird to see Jimmy in another uniform in person. Um, you know, I don't know until until you see him. But um, you know, I always had had a great relationship with Jimmy and have a great relationship with Jimmy and. Um, you know, I always obviously wish him the best. We've, we had some great times together, and uh, we're very appreciative of, of what he's done, you know, with our in our organization as well. What were some of the, uh, the biggest things? What what made the relationship um, positive between you guys? You know, I think uh, I think we we found some common ground on, on things uh, things maybe outside of basketball too, um, some common interests, and um, you know, and so we uh, I've cont continued to. Um, you know, wish him well, obviously, um, being here and, um, you know, just just in that way. Did he contact you after the change with Tibbs? Have you guys had communicated yeah, at all? Yeah, he did. He did. Do you want to share any of that? No, because because that's that's between uh, between uh, just two individuals. If Josh is the guy that matches up with him a lot, or at least to start the game, how much did Josh see of Jimmy in practice or go against him? I know we know what he plays like. Mm -hmm. How much personal experience would Kobe have there? Yeah, I mean, he, he did compete against him uh, a good amount, you know, with, during the preseason uh, as well as, you know, into the season. Um, so you hope that anybody can pick things up being around somebody um, for, for a good amount of time. So, uh, so we'll, we'll, see, we'll see tonight. And, and like I said, it's going to be a group effort. We'll throw different matchups um, at different people at different times. How much does having Jimmy and knowing his tendencies kind of help as you, you try to guard against him, you know, in Philadelphia? Yeah, I mean, on, on paper, on paper, you know, that, that sounds good in terms of, you know, when in, in any team, uh, in terms of coaches or players, where, where you come from one team and you go to another team or you coach one one player and then he's with another team, um, you, you might think you, you know, you know exactly what they're going to do, but um, I've said it before: NBA players are are so good now, and, and and they they really approach things in terms of adding facets to their game. And we don't expect anything different from Jimmy. So you know, it's, it may sound like we we know everything that he's going to do, but knowing Jimmy, he, he added something to his game too. How has the team players supported you since you've taken over? Uh, in, in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, it, it's it's been uh, you know obviously uh, unexpected, um, but it was a. Uh, um, Something that that these guys, you know, have good relationships with them, but also in terms of um, being able to co communicate, they've they've done a great job in terms of helping me um, through the transition of things. And then also, you know, I've, I've said before, but our, our veteran guys have, have been great in terms of what they see on the court, talking during games, um, and then our staff as well. So it's it's just it's a it's been a, a good a good feeling with with these guys. For years, you watched this type of thing happen where. Yeah. The media is around asking head coaches mm -hmm. questions. Are you starting to, to get used to this a little bit yet? Or is it yeah. still pretty foreign to you? I think so. I mean, you, you guys might be able to tell me better than I can tell you guys. But um, but I, I think so. And, uh, you know, hey, I, I, I grew up in, in this business. Um, you know, I've seen it before. It's different when you're you're standing in this position. Um, but ultimately, it's it's about, you know, what we do on the court as, as a team and as a group. When he first came here in the trade, did you, did you look at any film of, of him here to kind of see his tendencies, where, how he likes to operate offensively? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we looked at a good amount of film in terms of uh, you know where he, where he likes to catch the ball, um, where he likes to get his, get his shots from, 
um, and what situations with things. Um, so, you know, he, he obviously had um, success, and, I, you know, I, I can tell he means a lot to um, these people here, here in Philadelphia, along with Robert and Jared. You know, they, they've all been great professionals and given a lot to this city. So um, I'm glad that he gets to come back here and, and hope, hope he, he gets a, a good, uh, good ovation. Hey, Ryan, with a couple of shoot-arounds now, a few practices under your belt, how much have you been able to implement a few stylistic changes, a few schematic changes that you want to, yeah. to have going forward? I mean, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a fine line in terms of not overwhelming um, changes, and, uh, but, but it's ultimately I'm, I'm staying true to the, the, the motto of, of you know, just being myself. And uh, if there's things I believe in, um, I'll always obviously talk with our staff before things are, are necessarily implemented. Um, but in, in terms of approach, I'm, I might be a little bit different, and, and I've said it, but there's no right or wrong way in terms of doing things. I think everybody just has to have their own way. Ryan, you had your shot to kind of familiarize yourself with Philadelphia as you've been playing them tonight. In what ways do you think they miss Dario and Robert? Yeah, I, I mean, they, they, they have a great team. Um, you know, they're going to be – very formidable in, in the East, um, where they have a lot of uh, contenders in the East as well. So I think they've done done a nice job in terms of what they have with, within their their group. Um, but I mean, one thing you can you can never you know take away from those guys or underestimate in terms of Robert and Dario is just their passion, their will to win, um, and and their any team would would miss them um, taking taking that away from them. Right, Ty's played the final 17 minutes the other night. Was that because you liked what you saw, or was it because Jeff was unavailable, or both? Jeff was un unavailable. He had tweaked his ankle, um, but he went through um, went through everything uh, yesterday and today, and we'll see how he feels.